The daily morning edition of the Wichita Eagle was provided by Dr. Marcia Drury, better known as Dr. D, when she entered the clinic's east back door which was the Kiowa Hospital's old ambulance entrance, and adjacent to the kitchen's rear door. Most mornings, along with the paper, she he would deposit a box of donuts from Val's Donut Shop, on the picnic table that resided there for the non-certify staff. The Thursday edition of the Wichita Eagle would include what was designated as a social page, where a person could submit at no charge, an introduction of themselves to the public, leaving a phone number for those of like interest to enjoin an introduction. Fellow hospital employees, dietary supervisor, Arvita Starzak, Judy Reed, and her housekeeping staff during their morning break, formulated a novel idea. The assembly forthcoming, with Gary to post his social personality subsistence on the Eagle social page. Gary at first declining, but on a lark giving in. Placing a call to the Eagle social page editor's number, a lady answered, cordially taking the prescribed ad, then posing a question. How do you want it titled? Gary was somewhat perplexed at the unexpected question, hesitantly. He replied he didn't know, what do you think? The lady replying, well, you sound like a prince charming, how about that? The week-long wait was finally over, the Thursday morning paper arriving, there in bold print, the lady was true to her word. As the weeks progressed, Gary's answering machine having several messages from the opposite gender, briefly introducing themselves, leaving their number. The Saturday journeys to Wichita continuing, the Buick accumulating 190 mile per week. Making new acquaintances from his Wichita Eagle Beacon social page, and the internet's social networking ICQ. Gary once again having met and visited a new friend who had replied to the Eagle Beacon publication, and was also a subscriber to ICQ, the two having got better acquainted via the computer. Diane, an employee of Boeing in Wichita for the past 20 years shared many of Gary's interest, the two deciding to spend an evening together. Gary arriving at Di's residence in the evening hour, his lady friend having packaged a basket of delectables, and a bottle of wine. Diane having made the plans, the two journeying to Botanica, the Wichita Gardens in the 700 block of Amidon Street for an evening of music in the Pavilion Clubhouse, performed by a young lady folk singer. The two partaking of the folk singer's presentation and later enjoyed venturing through the lighted pathways of the Botanical Gardens, the fragrance of the flowers and shrubbery presenting an aura of contentment. The two discovering an area to sit and enjoy the serene surroundings, including the comestibles of the basket and outdoor night sky. The evening providing Gary with the repose from the doldrums of employment at the hospital, and the confines of a small Kansas town. The two enjoying the eventide. The 90-mile return to Kiowa with the car windows down, the cool Kansas night air bringing the wisp of the rural countryside, providing an ataractic ambience journey. Gary reciprocating Diane's botanic outing the following week. Obtaining tickets for an entertaining evening at Wichita's Century 2. A concert featuring a historic renowned band from another era. The Wichita Symphony endorsing with their presence, Flash Cadillac, a band organizing in 1969 as Flash Cadillac and the Continental Kids. An appearance on Dick Clark's American Band Stand led to opportunity, participating in George Lucas's movie, American Graffiti, as Herbie and the Heartbeats. The band performing three soundtrack songs, At the Hop, Louie Lou Owl and She's So Fine also providing soundtrack songs for Francis Ford Coppola's Apocalypse Now, and appearing on the Johnny Carson's Tonight Show and the TV hit series, Happy Days. The Century 2 concert was a capacity event, Gary having a floor-leveled table, 
center stage. The band making the classical artist of the symphony perform in a new proclivity, challenging members to duplicate the riffs of rock and roll. Gary's suspicion were confirmed, the classical musicians were up to the task. The evening performance concluded, Gary returning die to her residence, acknowledging his Sunday morning church calling. The Buick traversing south to Kiowa, 